Bruchim habayim ladik duk dakot. This grammar video is about the he feel imperfect. As you will remember, uh, the he feel binyan or stem uh, often reflects active voice and causative action. We saw the names of the stems, which are the perfect forms. Now we're going to talk about the imperfect. So here is an example of a he feel imperfect. Yav deal, uh, which means he will separate. So we're using an active and a causative meaning, which is cause a separation or separate. You'll notice uh, that there are some distinct visual signs that will help you to recognize that this imperfect word is uh, in the he feel stem. And they are the patach under the prefix and the hiric yod or tsere between the second and third root letter. You do not get to see the hey from the he feel like you see it in the perfect form, but you still see the hiric yod. And the real uh, determiner uh, to help you figure out that this is a he feel is the patach under the prefix. Uh, in the vav consecutive, the hiric yod is shortened to a tsere, and that is true of the vav consecutive most of the time that if the word can shorten, it will. One way to think about this patach uh, under the prefix is to envision what the word would look like if the hay was still there. And you see here the hay, which is a weak letter and which is a visual sign of the he feel. And if you think of the yod, the prefix, the third masculine singular prefix as a hammer that pounds the hay down into the ground until all you see is the top. That's one way to think of, of the patach. Uh, so you have the patach under the prefix and you have the hiric yod. So let's take a look at the paradigm for the he feel imperfect. And notice that on every single word, you get that patach under the prefix, whatever the prefix is. We use the, the third masculine singular as a hammer, but of course it can be uh, a tav or a noon or an aleph as well. Also notice how often you see the hiric yod uh, between the second and third root letter, except in these feminine plural forms where you see a tsere between the second and third uh, root letter. The he feel stem uh, is theologically rich. And as you translate, uh, you'll start to see significance in this, not only this stem, but in the other stems. That's the He Feel Imperfect. Lech Shalom.